Hi, I want to look at a slightly different example using GeoGebra in probabilities. And that is, what if you're asked to find something that's in the middle, the middle probability, like right here we're showing from negative 1 to 1 is 68%. Let's say we were talking about the number of steps that people took a day in a study. And the average number of steps were 11,847. And the standard deviation was... Uh, 2,589. And we want to know what are the, what's the 80%, if the people in the middle, the 80% of the people in the middle, well if I click on this I'm not able to do that and get this to change. Now maybe I'm doing something wrong, but what I want to explain is that if you're looking for the 80th percentile in the middle, let me move this over, um, what we actually want to know, if there's 80% uh, in the middle, let me see if I can draw this using this uh, program. Um, if I want the 80% in the middle, something like this, right, where I'm a little over 80, but it's right here in the middle. But what I really know is that this, if this was 80%, then this would have to be 10% and this would have to be 10% because the whole graph is going to give me 100%. So what I could do is if I can't get this to work or in another uh, program or calculator sometimes this is what you want to do. What you want to do is say well what is the 10% mark over here and you can see that that's 8,529 steps about and then you could say okay well what's 10% on the other side um, we could actually, well, this isn't, I don't know if the program is just kind of glitching out on me today or not, but what if I want to know what is it's greater than on the other side? This is the thing. I'll never remember those numbers, but I can find the 10% on the other end, and um, I'm going to try another browser and see if it just works better. But what I would do is, if I had to come back in here again and find that, I would say, well, now I want to know what, what is the 10% over here. Um, and that is if I had the uh, steps of 11,847 and a standard deviation of 2,589, what is that 10% on, um, on the right? And that would tell me, well, that I had 15,164 steps on the right. So you can find that left and right border by finding the percentage on the other side. So just consider that if you're working with a calculator, sometimes that's how you might do it. But think about the whole graph as 100% and then it would work. All right, have a fantastic day.